Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica from the blog thesimplehomeplace.com and today we are going to be making sugar-free homemade apple butter. First, we are going to start off with our apples and you wanna make sure that you choose a sweet variety of apple. So these are Cortland's. You could do something like Golden Delicious, Gala apples, whatever you like, but you wanna make sure that they are sweet. So I wouldn't do anything like a Granny Smith or anything because they're on the sour side. And so I'm just going to be peeling them up because if you don't peel them, then your apple butter will have the peels in it and the texture will be off. So I recommend peeling all of your apples. And if you don't know what apple butter is, it is basically a concentrated form of applesauce. So basically we are going to be making applesauce first. And if you want, I do have a video on how to make and then preserve applesauce. So go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. But basically we are making applesauce first and then we will be cooking it down to reduce the amount of liquid that is in it to make a really thick applesauce like spread that you can put on so many different things, toast, English muffins, things like that. And so um, again, we are just peeling and chopping apples. You are going to need about 10 cups of diced apples and we're going to add them in to a crock pot and I'm gonna add in some lemon juice. This is optional, um, but I'm just adding it in because it kind of balances the sweetness with a little bit of sour. I'm gonna turn it on low and then we are going to cook these for about three to four hours. It depends on what variety of apple you choose. Um, this is after about three hours and you can see that everything is broken down. It's really mushy. It's easy to smush the apples down and that's what you want. And then we are going to add all of our applesauce into the blender and we're going to blend it really well so that we get all of the chunks out and it is a really smooth consistency. Then we're going to add that applesauce back into our crock pot, add about a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, mix it really good, put the lid back on, and we're going to cook it down for another two to three hours. And you want that extra liquid to cook off so that your applesauce reduces and it turns in to a nice thick apple butter. As I mentioned, you can do so many different things with this apple butter. Put it on toast, English muffins, you can bake with it, you can add it to overnight oats. There are so many different things that you can do with this. I keep mine in the refrigerator for one to two weeks, it depends on how fresh your apples are. You can also freeze it if you wanna keep it long term. And the best part is it's easy to make and there is no added sugar. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.